Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're going to learn about implicit differentiation. And for each problem, we're going to use implicit differentiation to find dy and dx in terms of x and y. So, if I was given this problem, 5x to the third plus xy squared is equal to 5x to the third, y to the third. Okay? So, from here, derive both sides. Well, left-hand side is pretty easy. 5x to the third, 15x squared, plus here we use the product rule to rule the x is just 1. So we have 1 times y squared, plus x times the, root of the derivative of y squared, which is 2y dy dx. Right-hand side, same thing, but let's go plot the 5 as a constant. Let's just leave it out there this time. Now we have 3x squared, y to the third plus x to the third times 3y squared, right, times for y dy dx. Okay? Alright. So now what we're going to do, let's go simplify this, and what I'm going to do is now I distribute that uh, 5 across. Okay, so we have 15x squared plus y squared plus 2xy dy dx here on the left. Right hand side is to root the 5 to both parts, right? 5 times 3 is 15, so we have 15 x squared y to the third plus, well, 5 times 3, this 3 is 15, 15 x to the third y squared dy dx. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring all my dy dx's to one side and all my other stuff to the other side. So let's go put dy dx's to the left, everything else that's not attached to dy dx to the right. So Doing so, I'm going to put 2xy up front here, 2xy dy dx. Knowing that I'm going to subtract these two parts right there. Then I'm going to subtract this right here, minus 15x to the third y squared dy dx. All right. Now on the right hand side, um, I'm left with, we have the 15x squared y to the third. Then I want to subtract these two parts, minus 15x squared minus y squared. And I should have everything. These two were over here. This one got put, uh, came down, and it's 15x to the third y squared dy dx. So that would be here. So let's go pull out the constant of uh, dy dx. I'm not a constant, but it's in both parts, right? dy dx to both sides, or from both sides, both parts. dy dx here is equal to, now I have, well, not equal to, I'm just pulling out multiplied by 2xy minus 15x to the third y squared. And that's equal to the right-hand side, which let's we'll just leave there. 15x squared y to the third minus 15x squared minus y squared. So now I'm pretty much done. I'm just going to divide this whole parenthesis into both sides, and I have dy dx by itself. So dy dx by itself is equal to, now this is our numerator, 15x squared y to the third minus 15x squared minus y squared all over my denominator. 2xy minus 15x to the third y squared. And that's good enough for me. Someone might be able in the comment section below tell you how to simplify this a little more, but I'm good as it is. So let's recap. We're going 5x to the third plus xy squared equals 5x to the third times y to the third. When I derive this, the um, main thing to look for is the uh, product rule of the xy squared, and the same thing with the x to the third y to the third. Then I kind of simplified, then I got all my dy dx's that are anything that's attached it to the left hand side, everything else to the right. Then I pulled out a dy dx, all right, from this part here, and then divided what was left on the inside there, that parenthesis. That left me with my final answer again of dy dx is equal to 15x squared y to the third minus 15x squared minus y squared over 2xy, whoops, minus 15x to the third y squared. 